Mi nombre es Edras, tengo 19 años y estoy en el programa de, de música de Mike. My name is Ariana. I am currently 17 years old and my program is REA or Rimo Nacion. My name is Miriam. I am 17 years old and I am currently in the music program here at High Square Task Force. I think that's Afro-Latin culture. That's important because it's not spoken a lot about in school. Muchas personas que somos latinas, muchos no sabemos como las raíces. Este programa se enfoca mucho como en descubrir, en hablar sobre las raíces de nuestras culturas. So, por eso es muy importante que los jóvenes sepan y también nos ayuda como en muchas, como a motivarse, una motivación más para ellos. Coming to Hyde Square, I get to do something that's special to me. We've done bomba and we've done salsa and we've done bachata and that kind of runs in my blood because that's where my family is from. All of the work that we do is uplifting the Afro-Latin piece of our work because it recognizes the historical roots of our young people. This is such an important age for them and in, in just in discovery that what we do here is we give them the information, we give them the cultural history and context, we provide them with a space where they can be themselves. We're able to engage multiple high school students through all Boston Public Schools. We have some of the best conservatories and College of Arts yet we don't have that in our Boston Public Schools. I think that's a huge gap that our city needs to address. And fortunately, there's organizations like High School Task Force that are fulfilling that need, even if it is in an after-school setting. The vision of this organization is that our young people have everything that they need in order to um, be successful adults in work that is meaningful to them and that they're civically engaged in their community, that they feel grounded, that they feel secure in themselves, in who they are, and that, you know, down the line, that translates to them being healthy, happy adults. They put their all and their heart into movement, and I know they, I could say the same for theater and music. A student is able to come to this after-school program, workshop their art, get mentoring done and tutoring, and get paid for just being here is incredible. And that puts agency in like youth. Your art matters, and we're gonna give you a stipend because it matters, and we're gonna workshop your creativity and make sure that you know that you, it matters, and that we're happy that you're here and we love you. Historically, this particular corner of Jamaica Plain has been a receiving neighborhood for um, those of Caribbean, Afro-Caribbean descent, right? And so that is one reason why it makes a lot of sense for us to focus on Afro-Latin culture and heritage. But the other is that our young people also, in terms of who comes to this organization, are Spanish-speaking from Afro-Caribbean, Afro-Latin, countries, right, uh, or places. So uh, we needed to recognize that. High Square Task Force has definitely given me a new look on my culture and in my connection to the world around me. The ACT program, Axial Community Theater, put together a show and just seeing it unfold on the stage um, during the showcase was really, really rewarding. We had done so much work on it and we had put so much into it. Just being able to see culture through different people's eyes and seeing other people appreciate their cultures as well has definitely led me to think more deeply into my own. I definitely am showing a lot more Haitian pride now. Being a teen is already hard enough because of what social media wants you to be or what your parents want you to be or what you're trying to be for different people. And coming to this place really helps you like close the door on that and be like, I can be whoever I want to be. 
Well, you know, life gets hard. And sometimes you don't really have anyone to believe in you or push you forward. And I know I really got that here. Once I ran into some difficult times, I probably wouldn't have tried so hard <laughs> because it would have been easy to just not. I mean, I would definitely say I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't come here. We take the responsibility that as a positive youth development organization or a creative youth development organization, we're gonna make sure that youth recognize that they have agency, that they have a contribution that they can make today. Oftentimes we talk about youth as if it's into the future, right? They're the, the adults of the future, they're our future. No, they are our now, our present. And so how do we make sure that they tap into that agency and recognize that they can make a difference in their community? Las personas. Me siento en familia con las personas aquí, como repito, he estado ya más de tres años con ellos y pues tengo una comunión con ellos que es algo increíble. Yo llego al programa, comienzo a hablar con los staff y todos somos en familia y pues me encantaría seguir compartiendo momentos con ellos y también la música, que me encanta la música, la música es muy, para mí yo me encanta, es muy importante para mí la música y pues esas serían las razones por las cuales me gustaría regresar. Y como repito, si quiere divertirse, quiere disfrutar sobre la música, aprender más sobre la música, pues es un excelente programa para estar.